Good day everyone, this is Scott of Nigon's Electronic Creations and today I want to do a follow-up video of my Luke Hero Compares. Um, so there will be a link in the description below and maybe up here if I can get it right about the last video so you can go to that and check that out. In this video, um, last time we compared this Luke uh, LS6, um, we talked about the original Gen 1 Romans V4. I now have the Gen 2 as well. And then we also talked about the KR um, OR Luke Hero. And that Saber is no longer with me. It is with the Jet City Saber Guild that's going to be raffled off whenever ECC comes back. Okay, so this time, uh, what I want to talk about is I now have uh, two, well, I have three new helps. So I have the uh, the first version of the seven chambers. This is the one that's undersides that the new mom run is going to be replacing. I do want to talk just a bit about this because I want to talk to the quality um, of this hilt. The second thing, hilt that I have is this is the original creepy uncle hilt. So I want to be talking about it, uh, what I like and dislike about it. And then most importantly, the main reason I really want to do this video is I want to talk about the differences in the balance, uh, the Gen 2 versus the Gen 1. Gen 1 was really out a very short time, and he's replaced it with a Gen 2, which is currently for sale. Um, so I want to talk a bit about um, what the changes and what I like, and go from there. So without further ado, let's go hilt by hilt. First, let's do an overview of all the hilts together. Now, the these are the this is the Gen 1. Romans Balance V4. This is the Gen 2 Balance V4. Uh, they are going to be dimensionally like exactly the same, at least 99%. And then underneath this, we have the uh, Creepy Uncle. This is again the Gen 1. I don't think there were any dimensional changes, but I can 100% confirm that. Uh, but what I can tell you is the Creepy Uncle is dimensionally larger, um, mostly in the length. You can see uh, it is definitely, when you line these up back to back, you can definitely see here, obviously there's some apexing of the camera, but you can definitely see this emitter comes out longer. And then finally, I don't want to talk too much about this hill since the Seven Chambers has replaced this with the new mom, uh, but this is their first version of the hilt. And you can see it is clearly undersized, and that is the reason they uh, created the mom and are replacing this hilt, because it is too small. Uh, I do actually like the smaller size. It's it's kind of neat. It it feels almost like a um, like a skinny, you know how like KR has like the skinny versions of the saber. This to me feels like the skinny version of this saber. So I like it as a um, as an off chance hilt, one to like beat around with, and you know put on my belt, uh, and it feels great in the hands because it's slim. And so those uh, are the main differences you can see size wise, uh, control box wise. Uh, the Creepy Uncle uh, and the Romans Gen 2 have the, uh, you know, solid control box. It's not like a, it's not a separate plate. You can see like it's just solid, just solid. That's more like the Episode 8 style. Uh, whereas the Gen 1 Romans Balance um, and then this, uh, and of course the mom, the newer version of it too, has the control box, which is more, uh, actually has the separate screw on plate. Um, and is it's more large. Well, this one is the same size, still large, uh, but it's more. Uh, these ones are also have this screw on plate, so they're more like episode six, which I like better. So now let's quickly show some of the dimensional differences. So right off the bat, uh, with these lined up about as flush as I can get them, you can see that the. Uh, and I'm not going to count the blade pug part. But you can see that this is a like five millimeters longer. So the creepy uncle is about five millimeters or so, a little over five, from the best I can not it, uh, longer overall in length. Uh, one of the big differences is this. I can't quite reach, unfortunately, to get it perfect. But this gap is like 16.6 .6 millimeters on this hilt, and on this hilt, it's a, it's a, just over 16. Uh, and then further, you can see that this small gap here, it's going to be hard for me to measure this really accurately, but you can see that this is larger here for sure than here. Um, this washer is slightly thicker on this. 
this is like two Well, actually about the same thickness, but what it is is that this is machine rounded and so there's more silver color. Like this one, the silver goes all the way to the edge. This one's like kind of black. So it's a visual effect. This looks like the washer's thinner, but they're the same size just because of the blackness. Um, and then you can also see the grips on these have, are they're more thick, um, but they, I think they're very close. I mean, like the, the Creepy Uncle and the Romans both have pretty thick, like the silver part of the grip is almost four millimeters here. I'll do the second one because the first one looks like it's slightly less. 3.75 here. So the Romans looks like it's maybe slightly thicker, but they're really close as well. Um, now, if I recall, the KR Sabres had even thicker rings. And now you can see compared to, say, this uh, seven chambers, which is a lot thinner rings, like only like two millimeters, which is even nothing compared to my custom one. This was based on an old arc wave hilt. And you can see it's like less than two probably like yeah not quite even two so that's a, that's a big difference to me these are about as thick as i like that was the one thing i didn't like about the kr uh, hilt as i felt the grip looked a little too bulky not deep enough a little too thick um, but both of these are all of these are the same and they're all tolerable so they all look good and then if you move on you'll notice um, one thing I do like about the creepy uncle, I don't know how the camera picks it up, but this is deeper. Uh, this little ring here is slightly deeper. It's, it's more, uh, it's more subtle on this, uh, on both versions. In fact, of the, uh, the balance hilt, this ring is very subtle. It's much more defined here. It's a little deeper, more of a sharp cut. I like that. Now you can see also the uh, these cubes. They're pretty similar on all th three hilts, in fact. Uh, the one thing is, I don't know if this is just my hilt, but the balance, even though the balance, like the bodies look the same, it seems like the Gen 2s, whatever machining process they used, made these more matte. There's a little bit more shine, but you also can see a little more of the tool markings. Here it's just more matte. Like it's, it's almost got like a, um, like steel wool. It's possible that some, in fact, that's what happened is they just steel wooled it after they machined it. Cause here it looks more like the tool marks, like the machining here, it looks like steel wool. So more, uh, matted down and all of the lengths here, these are pretty much the same. The only different other difference I really noticed when I get back to here is the cap here of the, um, creepy uncle is much more squared off. So this is this is very square here at the end. This has got like a little bit of a tiny bevel here uh, on both versions of these. So this hilt, uh, I'll just do the the Gen 2 balance to the, and again, I'll just go to the end of the flat part of the emitter. That's the easiest for me to measure. That's about exactly 27 centimeters. And then if you do the creepy uncle, you see you get like 27, like 27 point almost five. And that's what we said it was about five millimeters longer. Well, I don't wanna talk about the uh, Seven Chambers Hero Ultimate Edition too much since it's replaced by the mom. I did wanna show one thing that really impressed me with this kit, which is the packaging and how well um, it's, it was thought out and laid out. They have this really nice, this isn't even cheap foam, this is really nice quality stuff and all the parts have a nice home and the hilt is in there perfectly, you can get it out. So this uh, testament to quality I really appreciate and cannot wait to see what they do with the mom version. Now let's concentrate on the creepy uncle hilt here. The creepy uncle, the hilt, um, the things that I like the best about this hilt are very flush machining uh, like the tolerances of everything that screws together so like see this end cap unscrews and when you screw that on it's super flush like it just looks like a line it doesn't look like a gap at all that's perfect um, the other thing that i really like about this hilt specifically is this uh, switch is really neat it actually is set up and it rocks already without any additional hardware so when you put your switches behind there you can use two momentary switches and rock them um, now I might do a single button install and just like rock it up to, to push the switch, but 
at any rate, you can actually even do two like that and such. Um, and these triangle cutouts are nice. All of that's machined really well. Um, and then I, th I like the a little bit larger emitter um, size. Now, one thing about this hilt, if you are looking for a more, uh, more style like the episode six, this already has this plate uh, machined on here. So it's more like episode eight, the emitter. Now you can, you can definitely on the lathe machine that flat and it will look a lot closer, but you're still gonna have tiny bumps because the, the indents here go below the surface of this. So even when you machine this flat, you're gonna have small uh, ridges around here. So it's not gonna be 100% like an episode uh, six. Even though I may machine it to make it closer, it's not gonna be perfect. So there is that. Uh, and then the, the thing that really annoys me about the hilt, this hilt the most, and again, it's because it's more like episode eight, he went with the brass here and my eyes are just so used to the more dark copper color that the uh, this brass just looks wrong to me however i have seen a gentleman on the forum i cannot remember his name if someone remembers they can tell me uh, he actually used some acrylic paint and then a, a matte clear so he acrylic painted like a really dark brown lightly over this and then matte cleared it and then it gave it the copper look so i'm probably going to do that to mine as well so overall, I would rate this hilt very high. This, uh, I think if I painted these, set up the button correctly, and maybe machine this emitter flat, so at least from the side it looks perfect, and then you just have tiny nipples from the front, I think at that point this is going to be a great uh, hero-style hilt, one that I'm very happy to use. Now, the most important part of this video, what I really wanted to show, was about the uh, the the Romans balance the Gen 2. So in my last video, I went over the Romans balance Gen 1 hilt. And I basically said that this is my favorite Luke Hero hilt that I put my hands on. And that is still the case. And the reason I like it is, while well, this uh, episode 8 style emitter, you get that option. But actually, when you take it off, it still looks like 7. So you, you, get, you can do either. And then the control box is still the, the separate machined on piece. So it's more like episode 6, not 8. Now, one of the drawbacks I mentioned about this hilt uh, at the t in my last video is mainly this, um, this piece here. The machining of this isn't too good. You can see that there's a gap here when you screw it fully closed. And uh, upon my initial inspection, I actually thought it was the machining of this angle here is causing that. Uh, and you can see, and this is in the Gen 2 hilt, you can see that has been fixed. It, it machines on super flush, and I pr really prefer that. Um, but it turns out, which is great news, that actually this gap is not, it's not due to the hilt at all. It's just this piece. Um, so this piece is just not threaded deep enough. So you see, if you actually take the Gen 2's end cap and put it on a Gen 1 hilt, it will be flush. So let me just do that real quick. And then you can see now on the Gen 1 hilt, it becomes flush. So that is very good. Again, the other differences in the Romans V4 Gen 2 compared to the Gen 1, um, besides that this end piece is machined correctly, the emitter and the control box have been machined to be more like episode eight. So you see this does have the flat style. It's not a separate screw on piece for this triangle part. Uh, the screws are there, but this is just all part of the box. It's not a separate screw on plate here. And then the emitter itself this time, uh, well, I have it screwed in there, the blade plug. But you can see now this is part of the emitter. Uh, now, again, you can machine this off. And on this one, it's these nipples are even less deep. So I think when you machine this off, you're just barely going to get left with some tiny points. And then if you even decided to make this a little thinner, you might be able to completely remove that. And I will update... Um, because I probably will try that to see how it looks. Um, but again, the reason why I've been saying I really like the Gen 1 is these two pieces are more like Episode 7 and Gen 1. And, and then the Gen 2, though, the cap is better. So if you basically can get somebody to give you an extra cap from a Gen 2 and then buy a used Gen 1 hilt, that's your best bet. Because you can swap on the Gen 2 cap onto your Gen 1 and you're going to get the uh, no more gap here but then you're gonna get the episode 
a six style box and emitter. So in conclusion, uh, all of these hilts are actually really good uh, hero style replica hilts. Uh, the seven chambers original version slightly undersized but it feels good in the hand and very good attention to detail and very good packaging. Uh, so I can't wait to eventually get their mom hilt. Uh, when I get some more of these installed I'll probably buy it at that time. The creepy uncle it is my favorite uh, control box, the, at least the, the working of the buttons. So I think that like that and the way that this will get put together is the best. And it's a really good size and feel and look. I think it just, the, the brass is a negative downside. So painting that would be really help this hilt out. Um, and then unfortunately the balance, I have to say the Gen 1 is definitely my favorite over the Gen 2. I think at this point, uh, if I had to choose between a Roman's a Gen 2 or a Creepy Uncle, I'd actually go with the Creepy Uncle for the price and for what you get. And I think just painting this stuff will be uh, a lot easier than trying to uh, fix this control box because I prefer this. Uh, though if you can get yourself a used uh, Gen 1 and you can recognize it by the control box and the emitter, uh, if you can find one, then grab it. And then it should be pretty easy for you to maybe get somebody's extra uh, and from a Gen 2 if you really want to fix this or if you just yourself want to file and try to make it screw on a little more to get rid of that gap. It'd be perfect. I hope this review was helpful for everyone uh, considering a hero style hilt, considering any of these. Uh, it gives you a good interpretation of what you're going to get to help you narrow your choice and get the hero that's right for you. All right, thank you and I will be seeing you next time.